Welcome! This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and this is the first day or the first video of our um, Zen Tangle Junk Journal. And so it's a little different video from what you normally get, but we're going to make, if you haven't seen the first one, we're going to make a journal where you can put Zen Tangles in, and instead of just your ordinary junk journal, it's going to have fun places to put um, your items. I was just looking there and I think I got a little glue popping up. Um, so this one was my first one and I've learned a lot since then. Now this is the cover for my next journal. And I've taken an old book and I know people have this thing about destroying books. But I'm a librarian and I can tell you not all books are created equal. So if you, the Reader's Digest books that are hardcover are, are kind of maybe a throwaway. And there's lots, if you go to a thrift store, you can find books that you personally wouldn't read. You can get those and, and re remake those into a book. So this is my first one. And I, um, I did one that I just picked one with a good wide spine. It needs to be um, two and a half inches uh, wide. This next one's a little narrower. I think it's only two inches wide, but a good wide spine. Pull the pages out of the book. I cut them out and then I put a piece of cardboard right here. Tiny to stabilize it because it was just fabric. You really don't need to have that, but I wanted it a little bit stabler. So, and uh, now, I did this one and didn't film. So, now I'm ready to do my, my one that I can show you. So I have my book. You can see it was an old library book. And I'm getting ready to cover it. I pulled the, the covers out. I've reinforced the spine. And now I'm going to use some glue. And I am using Elmer's clear washable um, glue. I like, I just like how it looks and as a Mod Podge. So a homemade Mod Podge. So I'm going to, I mixed it two parts glue and one part water. So if you, whatever you want to do, and then you just have to store it in a container that is airtight. So I just put it in a jar. And then I'm just going to brush the glue onto my book. And I put a little piece of paper under here on my table. I'm using an antique um, library table as my um, tangle desks now. And so I really need to protect it a little bit more. But this all washes off. So I'm okay with that. So I'm just spreading the glue on to my book and I do it fairly liberal and um, now we're going to take our fabric now if you get wide enough fabric that will go the whole length you don't have to do two sides but my fabric was only uh, nine inches I don't believe it was a 12 inch piece of fabric We'll, we'll measure this and see how um, wide it was. Yeah, it's only a 9 inch piece of fabric, so it wouldn't fit. So if you have at least a 12 by 45, you're doing a little better. Then I'm going to lay my fabric onto my, onto my book. And I'm going to have a little bit of space in the spine right here because I'm going to make cover that also. So I don't mind that. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. Matter of fact, I'm going to use my ruler that I just, just smooth it out. And if it doesn't feel like it's sticking down, you can go right over the top of your fabric and glue it down just like a Mod Podge. Now I'm going to turn it over and you can see that I've got my ends and sides. So I'm going to take my glue 
and glue the inside of here because I'm going to fold the ends in. So I'm going to fold this side in and press it down. And with the glue mixed with water, it tends to be a little runnier and just helps that fabric stick down. Now I'm going to fold in this side and stick it down. And I'm going to fold in the corner. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You can do it any way you want, but I'm going to fold in the corner and then fold in those two sides so that it makes a little point. And then smooth it down. And I'm just spreading on a little bit more glue so my edges are down. So here we're going to do this side again and I will come in closer. Just my camera. I'm going to turn it around so that you can see. So here's my corner. I'm going to fold down this piece right here and it's going to get glue on it. And then I'm going to fold in this side and fold in this side. So we kind of get a little right angle on there. It's not quite right, but I'm going to put some corners on my book, some book corners, so I'm okay with that. And there we have that, that side glued on. Now I'm going to turn it over and you're going to see, let me scan out, you're going to see that the glue has come through on here. But I already did this side and it dried clear. So you didn't have to worry about it. Now I'm going to take, and I didn't get it ready, so I'm going to pause my video. I'm going to take my spine. This is my spine fabric that I'm going to use. I did the same thing on this one. I am going to trim it and glue it on to my spine so that I have it. So we'll come back when I get ready to glue it on. Okay, I, I'm cutting off part of it that I don't want on my spine. So I'm cutting this border down to where it will um, be a little narrower than what it was. So you can use about anything to put a border or your fabric can go all the way across. I'll do a couple more and show you how they are done if you use just one solid piece of fabric. So there I have my border cut and I'm going to lay it on here and I want it to be centered. So this is down the center of my book. So I'm going to measure and I have about five inches on that side and not quite so I need to move it over. So it looks like I'm going to have four and a half inches and four and a half inches. Yeah, that's basically what I'm, so I'm going to roll it back and I'm going to spread my glue on, on here. My watered down Elmer's school glue. Well, it's not school glue, clear glue. And then I'm going to lay this piece on here and it's pretty sticky. I'm going to pull this one back. That's because last time I did it, I, I lifted it up and then I didn't get it on as straight as I wanted it. So 
So there we have that. And now I'm going to come along and I am going to glue it on the top. I'm going to wipe this glue on this spine so it's glued down. Oh, I should have done my edges first. Now I'm going to have to be careful. So I'm going to pick it up and if I would have done my edge here first, it had been a little bit better. But I'm just going to spread on glue and wipe it down. Fold this side in. And I can see that I've got it a lot straighter. Glue that. And then put my glue in. This book was given to somebody in 1937. So it was old, but the pages are gorgeous. And I'm going to use those to Zentangle on to put in my book. So I'm not going to destroy it completely. I will be making different things out of the pages of the book. I love to do that. So now I've got my paper glued to here, my little scratch paper. And I've got glue here. So I'm going to put the lid on my glue and kind of make it like a tint over this so that it will dry because I've got parts that need to dry. Now if I find that it's not sticking completely, I've got a little piece right here that's not sticking, I'm going to open up my glue. I just kind of stood that and get a little bit more glue out and saturate that edge so that it's saturated. I can always come back and add more glue to that edge. But we don't want it to lay flat. We want it to kind of stand up as it dries. So there we have the first portion of our book cover. Now, we I will be putting something on the inside here after we sew our book pages in. There's going to get some, um, well, no, yeah, there's going to get some leaf sides so that we can, after we put our signatures in. So just be patient. Get your first part of your book ready and... The next video, we will be making signatures so that we can sew them into our book and get the spine ready. Thanks for watching. I know this is a way different video than what normally I'm having, but I think we will enjoy it. I think I am. I'm going to enjoy it, and I hope you do too. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to get the whole complete tutorial of how to make a Zentangle junk journal. Thanks again and have a great day.